iGlaucoma Presents, a video series sponsored by Allergan, Glaucos, Ivantis, Nova Eye, and Sight Sciences. I'm your host, Dr. Constance Okeke, glaucoma specialist and cataract surgeon, and we're here to get to the point of what not to do in MIG surgery, learn how to prevent or correct those mistakes, and gain must-know pointers for MIG's surgical success, one step and one MIG's device at a time. In today's video, the MIG's device featured is the Zen Gel Stent by Allergan. Disclaimer, we acknowledge that this device is more of a less invasive glaucoma surgery given its use of mitomycin C and bleb creation, but we will address it in this series. One of the most common mistakes seen with this device begins with choosing a patient with challenging anatomy, deep set eyes, tight lids, tiny fissure, and high cheekbones. These eyes can be challenging even for the master Zen surgeon due to lack of exposure of the superior area where the Zen is to be placed. To avoid this common error, you should consider doing this procedure on eyes where lids can be easily lifted. Or if you do have a small eye, instead of using the Vera hook, consider using a 70 vicral superior corneal stay suture to infraduct the eye well to expose superior conjunctiva. For high cheekbones, make the temporal corneal incision more superior than inferior in order to have easy entry with your inserter. An additional point to help with this technique is that I like to use a sticker to tie the suture together for an easy manipulation when the time is ready to infraduct and pull the eye down. I recommend to still make a paracentesis for the bearer hook just in case the suture slips at that moment when you really need to use it. Another common mistake seen in the Zen procedure is rushing through the implantation with the Zen injector. This can lead to the misplacement or flick of the Zen and needing to reload and redo. To avoid this, after placement of the tip through the sclera and under conjunctiva, it's best to really take a short Zen moment. Take a deep breath, relax the tension in your hand, and as you release, typically midway while deploying the blue slider, you will have a more deliberate control and finesse as you then pull the inserter away. Well, that's all the Zen tips for now. If you found benefit in that review of common errors and solutions for the Zen Gel Stent, please like the video and share with colleagues. We hope this video will help on your journey to MIG's surgical success. Subscribe to the channel so you won't miss the next video in the series. Thanks for watching the iGlaucoma YouTube channel, a place for glaucoma innovation made easy for eye care professionals.